Alright gang, and welcome back to Procreate. So, one of the coolest things about Procreate, and what used to be a premium feature back in the day, is this adoption of what is called the Perspective Grid. So this lesson is on the basics of the Perspective Grid. So, let's go ahead and bring up a new document. Let's go ahead and bring up our actions. And now, under the Canvas tab, you see what I've selected down here? There is something called the Perspective Guide. I'm going to go ahead and use the Perspective Guide. We're going to turn it on. And this is just how to do a base level Perspective Guide. Okay. So when we go through here, we're going to go ahead and edit this thing. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a vanishing point. So let's go ahead and create a vanishing point right in the middle of the canvas. All right, all I did, folks, was tap the canvas. That's it. Now, you see that this fancy grid comes up. I'm going to go ahead and zoom this in a little bit. Now, you see how everything kind of moves through there. You can adjust the opacity of this grid. You see as I slide this down, it begins to move. Or you can adjust the size in order to make that work there, how far those rays come out. Now, let's see what some of this other stuff does. This is what is called a simple one-point perspective, quite frankly, because we have one point on the canvas. Now, let's, with our stylus, click on that middle point, and now you can move this point around. Let's say we want everything to emanate from this corner. You can move the perspective so that everything emanates from that corner. Now, you can bring it on down through here, you can place it back in the middle. Now you can also rotate the perspective if you wanted to. And now if you wanted to add a second point, let's go ahead and click on that. Whoa, what just happened, right? Now you've got a two point perspective. So if I take those and I move them all the way to the ends of the canvas, I now have what begins to look like a room. Okay, this is what's called a two-point perspective. Now, if I click one more time, I get what is called a three-point perspective, and I can move that third point anywhere up here. All right, now let's say that I want to delete this. You just tap on the point, and you see the delete key comes up. All right, let's delete. Okay, now, Let's go ahead and hit done. All right, so now you see that we've got the perspective guide. We've got a two-point perspective. And if I turn the guide off, it goes away. So now, if I go through, guide goes away. Turn it back on. Guide comes on. All right, so now you know how to create it. You know how to edit it. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to come over and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring up my inking tool because it's a little bit easier to show you. I'm going to bring up the technical pen and I'm going to go with a red stroke so that it's clearly visible here. Now again, if you wanted it to be a little bit more subtle, you can always come up here to this and you go to the canvas and you edit the perspective guide and you just turn down the opacity a little bit. Okay done okay so now this is critical when you have the perspective guide up click on the gray square and you'll see that there is a, an option called perspective assist let's go ahead and click that now you will see that assisted pops up on this lower portion now what does this have to do with you right the perspective assist locks the lines you can draw so watch this with my stylus I'm just gonna pick a point and I'm going to go through here now I can move my pen if you saw my pen moving you would see that I'm moving all sorts of wobbly weebly directions but because the perspective assist is on it's locking the line into the perspective so that it's actually helping me so as I draw a line, I can't draw a circular or a squiggly line, okay? So we can actually use this now 
to draw a box in perspective. Okay. Now I did that one on purpose, stay with me. Okay, now let's go ahead and drop one down here. All right, now let's go ahead and grab our eraser tool. We're gonna grab the eraser. We're gonna grab the hard brush. I'm gonna drop the size down here. I'm gonna zip right through here. All right, and if you're wondering why it's doing that, it's working with my hand. Now, with these little tails, this is critical. After you're done with this assist, go back to the layer, turn the perspective assist off, and now we can go through and we can, oops, we can erase down like we normally would. With the perspective assist on, it's going to constrain the areas that we can move with our eraser. So perspective assist is a huge time saver. All right, cool. So now we can go through if you wanted to with your technical pen selected and you could then go through and etch on a face. Go ahead and sketch all you want along this face. We're gonna be using this quite a bit in the coming lessons. But that's exactly how you use the perspective tool, how you create a grid, how you modify a grid, and then how you go through and lock your lines to work within the grid assist. All right, folks, we're gonna use this in other lessons. Let's go ahead and get on to the next technical lessons so we can get on to the projects.